Hi, Namaste. My name is Henry Shurikai, and this is part two of my expose of Dennis Winnaker, who calls himself Tarnudara Swami, that you see here. I believe that this man is a sadistic psychopath who has abused many, many children when he was the principal of various school, but especially the one in Vrindavan, India, and in Mayapur in India. I was deeply moved reading a testimonial from Kishore Stain that said, I was born and raised in the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. My parents are Gopal Bhatta Das and Krudasha Mani Dasi. In 1997, Iskan kicked out Danordara Swami for physically abusing children while he was the principal of a Gurukula school in Vrindavan, India from 1979 to 1986. One of those boys was my friend Ananda, who attended the Vrindavan Gurukula. Darnudara broke Ananda's nose by driving his head into a wall. He pulled his neck beads so hard that they cut into his neck leaving his scars. He hit children on the ears with cup hands. Ananda told me his ears would bleed because of this. The children were forced to eat their own vomit after throwing up a meal that they could not finish. Some children were raped while well, he was the principal of that school, and Ananda killed himself in 2006. Under this video, I'm going to put a link to a full interview of Ananda. It is really a story that really touched my heart, for this is the most scandalous, terrible thing that has happened in the Hare Krishna movement. There was about 2,000 students that went through the Hare Krishna school and about a thousand were physically and sexually abused and now more than 35, possibly 40, have committed suicide. As a therapist, it is clear to me that all psychological studies that have looked into the sexual and physical abuse of children are marked for life in their subconscious mind. Many of them lead a dysfunctional life and try to self-remedy with drugs, alcohol, so on and so forth. And many just cannot bear to be alive and they kill themselves. The suffering is too great. Ananda was born in 1968. His father was not involved in his life at all. His mother had several other relationships and had more children with terrible, angry, gangster-like so-called devotee of Krishna to the point where she lost two of her children because one of her husband came to her at night and put a 38 revolver in her mouth and said, I'm taking the two kids with me. Very nice Prabhu, that devotee. So this poor Ananda was taken from one school to another until he was late in his teen. His life was like this. From age five to seven, he was put in the Gurukula in Dallas. 
That was 1973-1975. It then was sent to a Guru Kul in Los Angeles, 1975-1977, age 7 to 9 year old. And then he was sent to India, 1977-1982, age 9 to 14. And then he was in a foster home. Eventually he joined the army and went to Iraq and he committed suicide in 2006. So the poor young man not only suffered from PTSD from being in the army in Iraq, but he suffered PTSD from being terribly abused by this guy, Dennis Winokur and other teachers that were in all those gurukulas that I just mentioned. I think it is an absolute scandal that Dennis Winokur did not go to jail for an extended period of time for abusing all those children. And it is even more scandalous that the International Society for Krishna Consciousness would even contemplate to let him back into their temples, into the organization, thinking that now he is cure, thinking that now he has understood the terrible things he has done in the past. And as a therapist, I can assure you that this guy in his subconscious mind is still a sadistic psychopath. What kind of therapy did he receive to get better, to get clean, to get clear? None. The only therapy is the old chanting of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And the Vedic scriptures are very clear that if you chant the Hare Krishna mantra and you do not do it with a pure heart, it is all useless. You will not make any spiritual advancement. And here we have a guy that is now offering himself as a spiritual master. Come on, I'm going to show you the way to Krishna. I'm going to show you the way to enlightenment. I'm going to show you the way to the great state of bhava, love of God. It's all bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. And that no other gurus in this con is standing up and making videos and say, no, we will not accept someone that has abused children the way you did. That's even more scandalous to me. Under this video, I'm going to put an interview of Ananda that express very well what he went through in India. It is absolutely horrific what he went through. And a few times he tried to run away. But where do you run away when you're in Vrindavan, India, and you don't have a passport, and you don't have money? They would find him and bring him back. And he tells the story of what would happen when he was back in the so-called ashram in Vrindavan, they would punish him, beat him more, and sometime for a week he had to be walking on his hands and knees like a dog. He would have to eat his food like a dog, and he would have to finish the plates of other student, like a dog, his face down on the plate. I wish there was a way to find this Dennis Winokur and still punish him and still put him in jail. But at least sign the petition, tell your friends on Facebook that this guy is a 
sadistic psychopath that should be avoided at all costs. I had no idea that the Hare Krishna movement would become so corrupt so fast when I joined the Hare Krishna sometime in the spring of 1969. Here's the pictures of me in front of Swami Bhaktivedanta. There was no Gurukula then. We were mostly hippies, usually brothers and sisters from the communes that were all over California at that time. We were all about love and peace. And in our wildest dream, we could have never thought that such use and abuse would be possible in a movement that was preaching love of God. I think we should all be vigilant. And if we see any use of abuse of children, we should speak up right away. As Martin Luther King said, if you don't speak up about evil, you are complicit about the evil things that is happening around you. Thank you very much.